this video I'm going to share with you that the SQ-26 from Singapore fly to Frankfurt in business class with the A380 plane I'm at the uh, Changi Airport Terminal 3 so for business class passenger you can uh, take the door 5 to go check in will be faster for you then you can uh, just go straight and you'll be at the check-in counter right over the right side so I actually my plane depart at 11.50 I'm here at 5 to get drunk in the club lounge first so in this video I'm going to share with you that uh, what you can expect in the silver Chris lounge in the plane and then what I can offer the seat and what I can show you the food yali yali so let's go so it's quite early so not much people are over here can I just go check in directly over here very sad that the wait list for upgrade to first class is not available but I still have hope so in case of anyone not showing up I might still have a chance to upgrade myself to first, the suite so I'm going to show you to the Silver Chris Lounge this is a newly opened Chris Silver Chris Flyer Go Lounge and then I'm going to the Silver Chris Lounge it's just right at the front let's go that way here it is I was told that this lounge is less busier now so this way the entrance that side is a quiet zone and then let's follow me to get some uh, refreshment first I think that you can get the alcohol first and uh, the bar is not open at the moment but you can self-service about the alcohol you can come over here to get coffee 6 to 10 a.m. and then 5 30 to 1 a.m. you can get alcohol over here and this area is closed so let's go further in then uh, you can see the first class lounge and then the hot food area just right inside let me settle down and I will show you more about the lounge let's check out what types of the alcohol you can get of course from far I can see tiger beer and then the nuts the chips and the bowl is for you to put the snack and then there's are the hot liquor you can get and the piper high seat and uh, how come there's a red wine here so there are viral river white wine and then the dandelion vineyard syrup okay let's go to check out what for the afternoon lunch you get the chicken porridge and the cream of mushroom oh, it looks good and then uh, also the Singapore laksa looks like this what else so people are busy like, taking the food so I tried earlier got the pork bun ha gao siu mai and actually the food is quite good let's go to the light food station that you can uh, get a uh, healthier food and what is this this is the dark rice oh i'm going to order this one it looks good though and then the cereal and the sandwiches so you can get the egg mayo sandwich pesto chicken sandwich and the cut fruits so i hope that they can uh, put it in a buffet way so we had lesser plastic wastage and uh, salad station look a little bit pathetic it's time for champagne so uh, they are trying, they are serving the this one, pepper high six champagne. Ah, let, me, let me take it out first. Okay, so Sean is like worried about me that alone and I get drunk. So he bought this thing called bounce pack. I'm going to try see whether that it really works and I will not get that drunk throughout the flight and then uh, i will still stay fresh arrive back to singapore i'm going to try the bounce back now so make sure you have some food before you try this just take two capsules before everything okay. then you can start your party okay my test my test one i'm at the shower room right now uh you have to check with the staff whether available or maybe at the queue so there's a lotion cologne shaving kit and hairbrush comb shower uh, shaving gel and then uh there's a bidet and i think the seat should be warmer seat let me touch yeah it's warm <laughs> okay so the shower room they come with the shampoo and body wash 
rain shower and handheld shower so in this side you will get the let me check here uh, the towel and the floor mat so let me shower now let me check the water pressure ah, it's actually quite strong so like you won't have like any problem that bad uh, water pressure issue and then you have to control it very nice because that it might accidentally go with the rain shower and uh, the body wash smell good let me see mm, both smell very nice move to uh, this bar area to have one of the whiskey sour <laughs> after i mix with uh, one whiskey sour and four glasses of champagne with the bounce pack i'm still doing well so hopefully uh, i won't get really bad drunk and then i will stay sober when i land to frankfurt later so uh, here it's like slightly more quiet, it's quite comfortable to drink right over here. You still can get some uh, refreshment if you want. Uh, food is just right over there and there's more food is right over there. So yep, I will drink a little bit more then I'll go to board to the plane to show you about the A... Airbus 380 <laughs> Business Classic. I am going to give a try of the laksa that is Sean and my favourite all-time favorite in singapore really really tasty dish in singapore the laksa it looks very nice right and um, over here is a chapati with a paneer let me try the laksa first mm, it is still really really good pair very well with the champagne um i think that anyone come to the silver chris lounge you should try the laksa it's something to good for you to continue with the champagne and then make your flight feel better. I was late for boarding. So I am going to uh, my business class seat at 11A. It will be right over... Um, oh! Over there. Upper deck. My seat is 11A. will be on my right side. So and... Uh, Hi, he's on the right side. Hello, good evening. Hey, so this is my seat. Very happy to get the front row seat right over here. Allow me to settle down, then I will show you more about my seat. Actually, this is my very first time to try their new A380. And at the front, there's nothing right over here. Just a TV for you to hang your uh, jacket right over here. And this is the duvet. The blanket right over here, the bottles of drinking water, the headset, the flight emergency uh, map, and uh, this is a place that for you to plug in your tri the power plug. And I uh, have a lot of alcohol, so bear with me. I talk a little bit slow. Over here, that this is my clothing. So let me put it at the side first. Okay what is this let's check a look oh so there's a two mirror right over here with a light for you to touch up your grooming and uh what is this okay a light that you can turn a little bit to get the light on the hook for you to hook the headset if i'm not wrong i feel nothing over here there is a power plug over here and then the audio plug over here Push for the table and then all the button that you can uh, adjust for the seat and uh, oh it's quite cool the hip, the armrest is right over here very impressive and uh, nothing here okay and then another armrest right over here so the toilet is actually at the back so there's no toilet at the front very very spacious seat right over here actually i can remove my shoe and just like throw it over there have a very nice uh, flat bed right over here so uh we'll share with you more a little bit uh if i found anything special in this seat i only get one window right over here huh a little bit sad though this is the handicapped bathroom so you can see slightly wider 
as a hand grip for the handicapped wheelchair to use this washroom with the baby diaper change pad and uh, amenity is right over here with the shaver to brush and then the body lotion facial mist and cologne hand soap it's very spacious you can uh, sit right over here to have a full size of the mirror uh, this a uh, clothing hanger for you okay i'm going to show you another washroom later after the plane takeoff i have just settled down and i noticed that in this seat this actually is a lack of personal storage space so there is one place that i can only put my phone my uh, bounce back pill and my mic is just right over here and i have got no personal storage space right over here i'm not sure that uh, other seat in the back they should have a personal compartment right over there but i'm not sure then um i will think that is quite a comfortable seat i'm very near to the galley i'm not sure whether that the crew will make a lot of noise at the front row but if i'm going to have a sleep i have the flat bed right over here it should be quite a spacious place for me to have my leg rest right over there so after takeoff then i will remove my shoe so remember that it's quite important to keep your shoe on until the seatbelt sign is off then to remove your shoe for your safety in case of any evacuation you need your shoe to uh, run off to the safer place before the door close i'm going to pop another bounce back so i'm going to drink more later so far i'm still feel <laughs> quite refreshing uh, as a business class passenger at your seat you get a bottle of drinking water like this so um very easy for you to pop two more bounce back now you can drink more so far i'm still staying quite fresh though like um from those video i'm sure that um you don't feel that i'm quite drunk right <laughs> i had quite a lot of champagne after i met my friend from uh, munich okay dog close now i'm going to uh stick back and relax and then going to drink more champagne i just request a sleeper from the cabin crew you also can request for the uh, socks and the eye mask i'm going to change for my uh, sleeper right now the cabin crew just passed me a glass of the champagne uh, after takeoff and then they are very very busy to serve the supper and i can see that they just got a bottle of the red wine over the compartment over there um taking at the seat at the 11a is quite nice that uh you can get a very fast service of course but uh it can be a little bit annoying that when the plane trying to take off usually i'll take a nap but uh the cabin crew they will like start to chit chat chit chat talk very loud so uh, i am going to uh, show you what i'm going to have for tonight is uh, lamb something i cannot really remember but i'll show you it should be something really delicious this is what i'm going to have for my appetizer i choose the soft bun with the balsamic vinegar or with olive oil and this is the crab salad uh yep so i'm gonna give you a try see whether it's good or not let me try the crab salad one bite of the crab first okay a little bit fishy but um the mango actually helped to uh, balance out a little bit if you love japanese rice wine you can uh, get some very very limited uh, sake this is the the, 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 hmm. can't really see what it is but let me give it a try i think almost every flight only have four bottles of that it's very very nice very refreshing so uh, if you love japanese sake taking sq flight in business class try your very best to uh, ask for japanese sake rice wine 
because that's very rare limited you might get a uh, only like one drink and that's all this is my Karing Daging Terong Sambai Belado it looks good right it's gonna be very spicy I think um, it should be fine let me try the Terong first Terong mean uh, Binjo this one uh, or you call it eggplant mm. not really that spicy let me try with the rice acceptable not too spicy i think uh, most of the asian white caucasian might be a little bit challenging but uh, do give it a try let me try the curry daging which is a uh, meat curry mm. Mm. oh it is go well with the sake I enjoy this this is the banana cake uh, it looks like this let me give it a try it looks a little bit dry but uh, it should be fine okay banana cake <laughs> um, there is some uh, cream on that can you see that banana cake so this is the mushroom at the back it's slightly narrower but you still have a full length mirror over here so yeah that's are the two different mushrooms just asked the cabin crew to set up the bit for me while i went to brush my teeth um let me give it a try It is still quite comfortable and then uh, I can't really see the light from the cabin uh, galley because they, every time they walk in and out I can see the light from the galley it's a little bit annoying so I have one pillow like this let me do the bit test uh, okay <laughs> So it is quite stable, but the pillow, uh, the white pillow is a little bit too, too low, too soft. So I think I need two pillow. I can feel more comfortable, and then uh, later I'll show you the legs room after I uh, settle down. <laughs> the blanket is like this. It's like a hospital kind of the uh, blanket crunker house <laughs> so let me give you a try blanket smell good smell like uh, freshly washed mm, I think I have a lot of alcohol so I don't really need the blanket it will be fine uh, it will be <laughs> very helpful for me to make it as a black, uh, pillow because I think like uh, it's like a little bit my head is like heading down it's not really that comfortable so uh, if you are very 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 lucky you got a double bit which is the one beside me you have a plenty of the leg room but let me show you how my leg room now okay so uh, I have to sleep like this can you see that allow me to on my light I have to sleep like this if you have a double bed this space is like it's all yours you can open your leg wide like this but now I have to sleep like this uh, no complaint for me that my height is at 175 cm 175 cm it is still quite comfortable for me and then uh, hang on with, <laughs> with the blanket and the pe double pillow I think I can still have a very good sleep so far that this is the annoying part that uh, the <laughs> I on my light for a short while yeah you can see that the, the curtain so that uh, every time when the cabin crew passing by you can see that right so it had the little light over there it will be 
a little bit annoying so I will recommend you to uh, take a seat slightly backward do not take the 11A although it's a very popular seat but you really get nothing much you get a lot of the cabin crew like talk noisy talk very loud and then like when they go in and out you have to see all the light to wake you up so I am going to be very very behave I'm not going to have more alcohol <laughs> I'm going to sleep and then I will show you the breakfast later. This is my breakfast. I'm going to have the fruit and croissant first. Then I'm going to have my laksa. It's the laksa that I've ordered for my min for breakfast. It smells very, very good. I'm going to give you a try now. It's time to try the gravy of the laksa first. Oh wow. Very, very gao. Very thick gravy. Can you see like this? Hmm, I quite like it. Let me try the noodle. Mm. I'm happy that they have uh, this uh, chili. With the chili, it will taste much better for the noodle. Okay, let me enjoy my breakfast. Just landed safe to uh, Frankfurt. The flight is quite smooth, it's quite comfortable. It's just like do not take the 11A. The crew is like, making a lot of noise that slam the door, this thing. Otherwise, I would say that this is quite a comfortable uh, flight because uh, everyone in the business class are very well behaved. Uh, food is just a little bit not up to standard to me, I guess. It's like uh, maybe I had too much of alcohol. So far, the bounce back work on me. I had 11 glasses of champagne, two glasses of mimosa, one whiskey sour from 5 p.m. until now landed in Frankfurt. I'm very fresh. <laughs> so uh, I would recommend to uh, take bounce back if you plan to drink a lot during the flight or to any party. I'm going to uh, trans take another flight to Poland, Warsaw later. And then I will show you that the baggage claim area if possible. And then I will share with you more as I can later. The passengers are going to New York. I have to go down to go to another boarding gate and then wait for a new set of crew to uh, serve you from Frankfurt to New York. And I actually, it's a little bit quite messy because I saw lots of people, they actually have no idea what they need to do and the plane was late for about an hour everyone are panicking so i still have plenty of time i will show you the baggage claim area let's go very happy to share with you that for business class passengers you get the express uh, immigration lane very good but they did not really show you how the uh, where's the lane you just ask the official uh, officer and then uh, you get to queue to the express lane i got my waited for my baggage about 10 minutes so I think after I left the aircraft within 30 minutes I have left going back to the uh, departure hall going for another flight overall I quite um, accept uh, quite happy with this flight la. okay la. some of the crew are actually very good some of the crew need more training and then uh, if you're going to take the SQ26 I will recommend you to uh, just take a middle seat for the business class, not the front row. Really, really don't happy with the front row. Okay, the next video I'm going to show you the Lutansa flight from uh, Frankfurt to Warsaw in Poland. Mm -hmm.